In this video I'll be going over the immunisation schedule in the UK and then go over an immunisation OSCE station. Immunisation of babies normally start when they're two months old, when the natural protection from their mothers start to wear off. The first set of vaccines are against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, polio, haemophilus, influenza pneumococcal disease, meningitis B and the rotavirus. I remember this as Dr. Pym. At three months old you get similar vaccines, the differences are there are no pneumococcal vaccine and you get meningitis C instead of B, so this is Dr. Pym. At four months your baby will get the same vaccines as at two months, minus the vaccine for the rotavirus, so this is D. Pym. At one years old your baby will receive a booster for haemophilus, PCV and meningococcal groups B and C. It's at this time they'll also get the MMR vaccine for measles, mumps and rubella. At two to six years old, they'll get the flu vaccine yearly, as they're a vulnerable group. At three years and four months old, they'll get another dose of the DTP vaccine, along with the vaccines for polio and MMR. Girls aged 13 to 14 are vaccinated against human papillomavirus, HPV, which helps reduce their risk of cervical cancer. At 14 years old, children will get vaccines for tetanus, diphtheria and polio. This is a summary page and all the abbreviations are listed in the description below. For this OSCE station I'll be talking about how to explain immunizations. Always start with the introduction, ask the person their name, age and occupation. It is very important to ice them, that is ideas, concerns and expectations. Find out what their ideas and feelings about vaccines are and elicit any concerns they might have. Now move on to medical advice. Firstly explain what immunizations are and how vaccines work. I've created a video on that topic, so click here if you wish to see it. You need to explain the disease that their child would be protected against once they're immunised. Explain the vaccination schedule to them and the different ages at which their child would need to have vaccines. Explain why vaccinations need to be started early in life. Go over why the child needs to have several doses of the same vaccine at different times. It is also important to go over how effective the immunisation programme is. Talk about the radical decrease in diseases like diphtheria and the eradication of other diseases. Then make sure you address the side effects of vaccines. Once you've explained all this, you should listen to any and all concerns the parent has. Some of these may be about allergies, the number of doses or rumours they've heard about vaccines. Let them know that even though it's highly recommended in the UK to vaccinate their child, they are under no obligation to do so. On finishing, confirm that they understand what you've told them and offer them more information. This could be a leaflet. If appropriate, tell them that an immunization schedule will be made for their child and the details can be found in their red book. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. I hope you have a great day.